Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. Let's go ahead and balance this chemical reaction. The very first thing we do is we need to put a line down where our yield is to separate our reactants from our products. Now we're gonna go ahead and determine how many atoms we have of each element on both sides. So we have two nitrogen, and we also have two hydrogen on our reactants. And then on our products, we have one nitrogen, and we have three hydrogen. Now we can see that this is not a balanced reaction, so we need to go ahead and balance it. Our lowest number is one, so we're gonna start on our product side, and we really want this to turn into an even number so that we can match this side. In order to do that, we can go ahead and put a two in front because two times one will give us two, and now we have an even number, and it matches our reactant side. But this two also affects our hydrogen, so if we distribute that two to the three, two times three gives us six. So our nitrogens are balanced, but our hydrogens are not. So we need to come back over to our reactant side and we need to put a coefficient right here so that we can have two times something equals six. And of course that's gonna be a three. So now we have two nitrogen and six hydrogen on both sides and we are balanced.